Adults have read it, what is something every teenager needs to know? Apologizing is a sign of strength, not weakness. We all screw up, when you own up to it, you grow from it. Learn to trust your gut when in strange situations. If something feels off, wrong, it probably is. Don't go along with something if it feels wrong. It's okay to say no to anyone. Don't let anyone in your life guilt trip you into doing something you don't want to do or are uncomfortable with. I've said this before but it's important. When someone says you can't do something in life, it means they can't do it, not that you can't. If you are assaulted on campus, notify the police, not campus security. Most of your friends are the product of geographic convenience. Just because you grew up being friends with a neighbor or a fellow student, doesn't mean you owe them your undying loyalty when they start treating you like shit. Start trying to save money now. You will definitely thank yourself later on. Learn how to cook. It's way cheaper and usually faster than takeout. People, employers, etc., will take advantage of your naivete. In many cases this will be illegal. Learn the signs and signals of toxic relationships. All too often these can start as early as high school and before you know it you've wasted years of your life being someone's victim. Failing is okay. Everyone is smart just at different things. People can be book smart or people smart or machine smart etc. But the difference between successful people and not so much is the application and dedication you give. My nephew is 9 and his dad is already calling him dumb, which is insane because the kid is so quick. He understands things rapidly. But he doesn't like school right now. This is something I just told him. It really doesn't matter what others think of you. It only matters what you think of yourself. Live your life such that you can look at yourself in the mirror at the end of the day and be proud of what you've done. Also, likes from social media don't mean a thing. If you post something that gets zero likes or upvotes, you will still wake up tomorrow ready to go. If you don't have a passion, learn new skills. You might find your passion or something you're good at. You're responsible for your own education and have absolutely no one to blame if you don't take school seriously. And be nice to your teachers. They're trying to gift you a future. Cashiers don't care if you buy condoms. When you get to driving you need to realize that the laws of physics apply to you. They aren't out to get you, they're just indifferent. Slow the, heck, down and don't horse around, you're driving a very heavy machine at speeds we did not evolve to deal with. Be safe. You're allowed to question authority. If an authority does slash says something you think is wrong, you're allowed to question that. Don't put off dealing with mental health issues. Developing unhealthy coping mechanisms for emotional issues will, screw, you up big time down the road. If you have issues, deal with it head on, right away. It can take time, but start the work now. Enjoy the small stuff like your back not hurting. When you make a mistake, own up to it. People are more willing to help you when you admit you did a dumb thing. This goes for school, work, and personal life. Forget to make a payment on a loan? Call and talk to the finance company. Mess something up on a school project? Tell your teacher and ask for a bit of leeway. Etc. People will be more likely to help you if you communicate. Start your retirement fund as early as possible. Doesn't matter if you can only afford $5 a week, it's still $5 more than you would have had otherwise. It will add up and you'll thank yourself later. While you shouldn't believe those who say these gonna be the best years of your life, try to make the most of it, to enjoy the ride. Don't be ashamed of your hobbies and passions, those who make fun of that can go fuck themselves. Every feeling you have deserves to be expressed in any constructive manner. Don't fear rejection from those you like slash love. Tell them and come what may. The things your parents are trying to keep you from doing are more than likely the mistakes of their youth that they wish they could do differently. After high school, life gets a whole lot better. Don't compare your life to influencers, or anyone else for that matter. Even with a hashtag no filter, it's normally a facade. Live your life for you, not for the likes. Learn a second language. It's good for your brain, and it's a lot easier when you're young. Get active and fit, make it a habit. This is one of the most important ways to stave off cognitive decline as you get older. Plus, it's great for managing mental health during the transition to adulthood. Avoid debt if possible. It's exactly as lame to not do something you want to do because it's too mainstream or popular as it is to do something only because it's cool and the cool kids are doing it. Advice is free, and if you respond to it with I know then you're probably not going to figure your problem out. The measure of whether someone has the potential to be a new friend of yours is not whether they like a bunch of things you like. 
it is entirely possible to become friends with people who like a ton of things you've never heard of, or even already decided you dislike. You are at a spot in life where a lot of your likes and dislikes are subject to change anyway. Biggest thing, making a new friend often takes time. Lots of time. Much longer than movies and shows make it look like. Find things to do, groups to join, city league sports to play, pandemic permitting, or after, and keep learning about the people you see repeatedly. Far too many early 20s people who report having no friends made a premature judgment that one or more prospective friends were off the list, when it just needed a lot more time. The first step to being good at something is being bad at something. We know all the tricks, we were teenagers once before as well. If you don't brush your teeth, big regrets. Don't talk too much about yourself and your private life and ideas, it will be used against you. Emotionally you are going to feel better and survive the struggles you are into. Don't breed anger, it will consume your time and energies. Time flies, I'm 38 years old, it seems yesterday I was in my 20s. Enjoy the ride, take care of your body, don't listen too much to the wired stuff coming from your mind. Resentment is like swallowing poison and hoping the other person dies. And, don't waste time trying to love someone who doesn't love you back. And, just because you spent years on something a job, a relationship, a place, etc., doesn't mean you're stuck there if you're miserable. If you can, do the hard thing and leave. You'll be so much happier. No one owes you a thing. Live your life well by working for what you want. Make good decisions. Not based on fleeting emotions but reason and common sense. Good financial decisions are a must. Know what it costs. Don't be afraid to separate yourself from so-called friends if those friends are not moving forward. Don't allow their defeatist attitude to hold you back. Hold yourself to your own standards. If you wouldn't let anyone treat your friends slash family like trash, then don't do it yourself. If you feel learning is a positive thing, then learn on the daily. If you value work and security, then give yourself security through work. If you expect others to be intelligent and to care, then you should be intelligent and caring. Hold yourself accountable for how you want the world to be. Be a part of the world you want to live in. If you don't want to go to college, learn a trade. Learn several trades throughout your life. You will always be able to find work. Even during a pandemic homeowners still need their plumbing to work. They need their HVAC to operate properly. They will run into electrical issues that need repaired. Everything ends. The good stuff and the bad stuff. If you have an emotional reaction to everything that's said to you, you're going to have a bad time. There's always more to it. Right now isn't the be-all and end-all. I will also say that by no means as a teen should your feelings be downplayed and this is not suggesting that your current issues are minimal. It's important to recognize how you're feeling but also don't let it consume or dictate how you look towards your future. There is always going to be a better time. 